or get the new Xbox. Screw the PlayStation 5, because I've been playing the hottest new console of 2020, being the Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch. It features a retro chic aesthetic, a form factor more portable than your phone, and has one of the best games of all time built in. Along with, get this, the ability to track time. Heck yeah. Okay, so the Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch is Nintendo's way of celebrating the game's 35th anniversary. And it's pretty darn neat. The hardware itself is a near-perfect recreation of the original models, complete with lightweight plastic that's soft to the touch, and the classic golden red color scheme. But unlike the original Game & Watch series, this one sports a modern, backlit, full-color LCD screen. So yeah, you can finally play one of these in the dark, and potentially for up to 8 hours on a single charge, going by Nintendo's estimates. Although, that does fall a little short of the 6 months of battery life that the original models delivered. And just like the hardware, the games themselves seem to play identically to how I remember them too. Yeah, games, as in plural. Because you won't find just the original NES version of Super Mario Bros. here, but also its direct sequel, Super Mario Bros. 2, or The Lost Levels as it was known outside of Japan. And that's in addition to a Mario-fied version of the simplistic juggling game, Ball, which was the first Game & Watch game ever released. And in a nice touch, not only can you easily swap between the three at any time with the tap of the game button, but it even suspends your current game's progress too, allowing you to pick it up later exactly where you left off. Neat! In any case, all three titles look and play pretty much exactly as I remembered them, with Super Mario Bros. even retaining the same quirks I remembered from the original game, such as when you have too many enemies lined up in a row and they start to glitch out. Although, speaking of glitches, the Minus World 1 seems to be missing as far as I can tell, just like in most other re-releases. Now, on the topic of things missing, I can't help but feel the absence of the actual 1986 Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch to be anything but a glaring omission. Sure, the Mario version of Ball is cute, but it originally had nothing to do with Mario, when I think it'd be far cooler to play the original Game & Watch adaptation of Super Mario Bros., which I actually own, by the way, but see la vie. Now, playing a game on a device this small might be a bit of an adjustment, especially for the older eyes that I assume is this game's primary demographic, as this is definitely the tiniest screen I've ever played Super Mario Bros. on. While I never quite had to squint, I sure felt like I might need to at first. That aside, the game looks sharp on the tiny display, but there is a small, noticeable amount of motion blur when moving, though I didn't find it to be a major issue. The form factor itself, while not necessarily comfortable, isn't bad, especially since it feels feather light in the hand, and the buttons, though small, didn't hamper the playability. But I did find it all too easy to accidentally cover the system's single speaker when I wrapped my left pointer finger around the top of the device for increased stability. And while a single speaker is technically an authentic representation of the NES's mono spec, I did find it a little annoying the sound only emitted from the left side of the device rather than the more central location and there's unfortunately no headphone port either. So that's the game half of the title, but what would a Game & Watch be without a clock feature? And thankfully, the Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch mostly delivers with a clock that's uniquely Mario and can be brought up at any time with the press of the time button. And whenever you do, you'll be treated to a fun animation of Mario, or sometimes Luigi, dodging enemies as he attempts to keep proper track of the time. There are a ton of fun little animations here, 35 in total according to Nintendo, and they include things like a moonwalking Mario, a wrench-throwing Lakitu, or even a gang of Yoshis to help manage the hourly turnover. There's a lot of fun stuff happening here, such as how the time of day visibly changes, and it'll likely take you a while to see it all. Now, for as fun as the clock is, it's not quite as useful as it used to be in past Game & Watches due to the lack of a persistent display, meaning you'll have to manually toggle the device on whenever you want to see the time which is a mild inconvenience, as it'll put itself to sleep after 3 minutes of inactivity, unless you have it plugged in. But hey, the pictures that it displays just before going to sleep are pretty cute. So to wrap things up, the Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch is an undeniably cool little device. There's just something super neat about being able to whip out a classic looking throwback and have instant access to an authentic version of one of the most iconic games of all time. And the fact that it comes with a few extra bonuses, like Super Mario Bros. 2 and a clock filled with fun easter eggs, makes it one handsome little package, even if I still find the lack of the actual, original Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch to be completely baffling. But, at the same time, it's a $50 device, and one that's primarily used to play a game that's available on roughly a billion other Nintendo devices, including a version in which you can play against 34 other people, and they don't require you to almost squint and listen to oddly unbalanced audio. 
So even though I like the Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch, it's a little hard to recommend as much more than a cool novelty to showcase. Especially when a modern full-length game can be bought at the same price. But hey, it's still a fun cute little toy. And at that size, it really is a perfect stocking stuffer. And with that, thank you so much for watching, and make sure to click that subscribe button and ring that bell for more on the Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch, and everything else Nintendo as well. We'll catch you later, bye everyone!